Is this another battery? What is this? Is that a bullet? Dear Bella, how many five-year-olds do you think you could beat in a fight at the same time? Many, many, many five-year-olds. Like 20? Do you think I could take on 20 five-year-olds? <laughs> Stream ideas. 20 will destroy you? I'm trying to think. If they all coordinate and attack, that might be a little trickier. But you just like kick them and they all go down. They're too small. I think I could. She's talking about fighting actual people. I'm talking about fighting actual five-year-olds. You think five-year-olds are like ants or something? No, I know what a five-year-old looks like. And I honestly think I could probably... I mean, what are they gonna do? I can't prove this unless we all get some five-year-olds and get them to attack me, but I don't think it's legal. <laughs> What are you gonna do, stomp them? I'll just kick them. I can kick all of them. It'll be like a domino effect. If I kick one, like the other 19 are all just gonna fall over too. Imagine two kids grab your legs and the other three kids then push you onto the ground. That's true, actually. They grab your legs. I'm getting, I'm thinking about this very seriously. <laughs> Yeah, and how big are these five- like, what if you get a super, like, fat five-year-old? Because that's a little tricky. If they're all skinny, I think there's more of a chance. <laughs> if they're all massive, then that's- I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could. The five-year-old is fat, I think you could only beat, like, two. No, I could beat more than two. <laughs> So it's how many fat five-year-olds could you be and how many skinny five-year-olds could you be? Those are very different questions. <laughs> Lil Lettuce Leaf not squaring up with anyone, let's be honest. Listen, once I start going to the gym again, once I start lifting, it's over. Shit! No elementary school is going to let this woman close to their building. Why? Oh, for fighting the kids. Jon Snow. See, Jon Snow just kind of doesn't do it for me. He just, he just doesn't. Just, Mark Wayne. Mark Wayne. I will do anything for you, Mark Wayne. Mark Wayne. Now I want to ask my dad how often he thinks about the Roman Empire. <laughs> I don't think he'll respond if I phone him. He's not gonna respond. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm just on stream. I just had a question for you. Um, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? You're not on that meme, are you? You know about it? Of course I know about it. I only learned about it today. There you go, I learned about something before you did. So I would say, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Yeah, do you think about it often? Um, I do actually. <laughs> So that's because I'm that's because I've been listening to a bit of history stuff. So I would say three times a week. Three times a week? <laughs> On average. If you want to if you if you're gonna put me to a number, yes. Really? Yeah. But you because you listen to history podcasts. Probably, yes. Because I've it, it, just in the last few months I've, there's been lots of things that I've looked at or read which have lots of what you might call classical illusions. Like, you know, things about Caesar crossing the Rubicon, or, um, uh, I'm trying to think, you know, Bruce is taking his own life rather than submitting to Caesar, uh, um, I don't know, mm. whatever. <laughs> I see. Okay. That's interesting. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm um, pleased to be of service. <laughs> I will talk to you later. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> now do your mum. My mum would never think about the Roman Empire. Is it true Australians don't do Christmas? No, we don't celebrate any holidays. We haven't celebrated a single holiday since we lost the Emu War. Would you love chat if we were worms? I'd probably love you guys more if you were worms. Because then you wouldn't talk. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I went to this place for dinner last night. That sounds like I went to a restaurant. It was a really shitty fast food place. She gave me a pin. She gave me a mushroom pin. 
And she probably gave it to everybody, but for some reason I thought... Like, it's just a shitty mushroom. But it meant so much to me. It made me really happy. For some reason I thought it was like some divine... <laughs> thing from the universe. Because I enjoy mushrooms, you know? I know as a parent explained to a child that they are going to be sent away to military school. See, they, they sold it pretty well to me. Because they basically marketed it like Harry Potter. They were like, you're basically going to Hogwarts. And I was like, that sounds amazing. <laughs> and in a sense it was like Hogwarts. Except there are a lot of mean people. And there's drugs and smoking and bullying. Two hundred and eleven milliseconds. Is that bad? Oh no, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When I watch Clint do this, I can't remember if I was thinking this in my head or he was saying it. You can make like a drawing with where the locations of the numbers are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, this is easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, what is this? Why is, it, why is this? Why is it showing me this? Bum, 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 bum. Oh! Am I stupid? Bum 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 Mm 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 Nah, I'm gonna die soon. Ah. Fuck! No! Okay, if I focus hard, I can get good on that, I think. I got 13. It's like on the lower end of the spectrum. Spectrum, not spectrum. <laughs> Isn't this literally a minigame in Among Us? Yeah, probably. 